Hello everyone, my name is Madison and welcome back to Hop and Help and today I'm going to be talking about the 60th annual Valley City Frog Jump. Now the Valley City Frog Jump is located in Valley City, Ohio and has been a huge part of my life ever since I was a kid. I'm pretty sure I have went every single year except of course last year because of COVID uh, since I was probably six, so a very long time I've been going to the Valley City Frog Jump. Now what makes the Valley City Frog Jump so special in particular is because unlike other frog jumps, the main stars, the main important people, the like the pride and joy of the Valley City Frog Jump is the frogs and we take absolutely amazing care of them and it is like, that is like the foundation of the Valley City Frog Jump is how we care for our frogs. So this year and in past years, my job has been caring for the bullfrogs. So it starts off but the Friday before the jump, it's always on a Sunday, and Friday and Saturday night I go out to Valley City and I catch bullfrogs at local golf courses. And now these frogs are known as the rental frogs. So I care for them Friday and Saturday night and Sunday morning, and then all throughout the day they get they are treated like luxury. They get worms and etc. They get like a nice little vacation from, you know, being in a pond. And then at the frog jump, I take care of them. We divide them by size so that there's no issues. And then of course we only get bigger frogs because little frogs, you know, they need to get big and have babies one day and have more generations of Valley City frog jumpers. But at the frog jump, I take care of these rental frogs and they are for people who cannot catch a frog or do not have a frog. So if you're in the area of Valley City, I will admit that the frogs do get very used to people about halfway through the day. So you should really bring your own frog because it's easier on the rental frogs because they have more time to rest and hang out before they go back to their pond and you have a better chance of actually getting a long jump. Now how the jump works is you set your frog in the center of the bullpen and he can make three jumps. Three jumps, doesn't matter if he jumps this direction once and then that direction and then that direction and that's, that's your jump. Whatever from the center of the bullpen to that final jump is your measurement. So whoever jumps the farthest in three jumps is the winner of the flight. I believe there was about 38 flights this year. So then 38 frogs jump at the grand championship to win the ultimate frog jumping trophy. <laughs> As I said before, the Valley City Frog Jump takes pride in how well we take care of our animals. If there's any mistreatment on the bullpen or off, they will be disqualified and will no longer be allowed to jump at the frog jump. And then a new role I took on this year was actually being a frog school teacher where I help people out with just learning the basics about frogs and how to care for your frog and how to keep them comfortable at the jump, etc. How to build frog ponds, you know, all the fun stuff. I really love going to events like these because it's a great place for me to connect with people who don't know a ton about frogs or getting people comfortable with frogs who used to be scared of them, helping people learn how they can help the environment, which then helps bullfrogs, etc. It's a really fun time and I can't wait for you to watch the video. You excited? There I am. <laughs> One more, honey. There's something. There's
Hey guys, it is currently uh, 2 in the morning. I just got home, so it is time to sort the larger bullfrogs from the smaller bullfrogs. Now we, uh, I've probably already said it, we don't, we don't take really tiny ones, but we do have some smaller ones, which we typically give to you know, kids and whatnot. So we just want to sort them, even though there shouldn't be any issues, there's no reason to leave any percent of risk. So that is what I'm about to go do and fill up their jugs of water and make sure they're happy. And then tomorrow I will go and get them earthworms and feed everybody. So here we have oat. So here are our four tiny guys and they have a burlap sack and about two inches of water. And here's our bigger boys. The one in the back is just a very stubborn, like medium sized one, but he's fine. Two big boys there. And they are ready to jump. I am ready to sleep, but always check for ticks when you go out herping because there was one on me. Uh, it didn't like attach onto me because I was wearing high socks and then jeans and then boots. And it was on my jeans, so I was able to flick it off. But even no matter how tired you are from catching bullfrogs at night because you were you know working all day you have to shower and check for ticks very important mm -hmm. What you got? Vlog. <laughs> right here, right? Yeah. Oh, there it is, look. Alright, cool, one sec. So small. So I got some night crawlers, but I don't know if they're gonna know to eat from my hand, or I might have to just drop them in, but then I won't have content, so we're gonna see. <laughs> so we got the littles. They're chilling. Oh, they're chilling. I'm gonna toss them a worm just in case anybody's hungry. Oh, anybody? Anybody at all? <laughs> okay. Fog day. Fog on a tank. Good, you know, been a really sunny day, kind of, you know, sunburn. Yeah, you know, hot, warm water. I just wish I was one of those frogs. What? Covered in water. Hey, boy. 
You're a winner in my heart. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, look at that. Go get him, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Go, boys, go. Go, go, fellas. <laughs> it got dumped. Look at him. Come on, guys, go. Help him push him along a little bit. Come on, fellas. Go right there. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Hey, little dude. Go on. Time to be free. <laughs> oh, go that way. <laughs> there we go. Watch and then there's one right here, honey. Oh. Nice. See him, Kayla? Oh, there he's going. No, no, You're going the wrong way. <laughs> In a way, this is kind <laughs> of <laughs> Some stragglers, you're going the wrong way, dude. That way. Go on. Go on. In the water. There they go. Cake. Right, so this just a little longer. So this guy here is my jumper. Uh, he jumped six feet, then three feet, and then two feet in his flights. Um, so you know, it's okay. It's okay. He participated. He did good, and he's ready to go home. He's very beautiful, as you can see. There you go, little guy. Go on. Come on. See, he's not a good jumper. There's literally a pond. <laughs> yeah, so he, you know, it's about being there. <laughs> so unfortunately, we did have three injured frogs. As you saw before, I do a wellness check on all the frogs before we return them to their, uh, you know, golf courses. 
I'm pretty sad that we had three that were injured this year. Um, obviously, we didn't have one in 2020. In 2019, there was no injuries. In 2018, there was one who got a slight cut, and that was actually from being taken out of an enclosure. But we have three injuries this year. Um, they're leg-related. No open wounds. So there isn't a whole ton that I can do regarding the wound. So see here, there's an issue right here. Ooh, yeah, it hurts him a little bit. It's actually very similar to the issue that my uh, toad kelp has. And there's just quite honestly not much you can do. The body will heal itself. So we're going to be putting them into the frog garden where they will have a safe place to you know, heal. And there's not predators here and they can spend the rest of their days here and yeah, so we have this guy here. I just want to reiterate that it does genuinely make me very upset when I see that this happened. The, the reason I really love the Valley City Frog Jump and support them is because it is a core principle. It is the principle of the Frog Jump is that we value these frogs and we care about them. And that's what makes it different from other frog jumps because at other frog jumps in the South, they eat the frogs. So obviously not okay with that, but the Valley City Frog Jump is all about the frogs, so it makes me really upset when people break the rules and inevitably hurt a frog in the doing. These people were um, disqualified, eliminated, removed from the jump, but it's still sad because even though we eliminated them, this frog still has to deal with this injury. So we have another little guy here, he's got another um, small leg injury. Where is it on him? Yeah, it's right there. Looks like a muscle pull, to be honest, because he can still use this leg. There you go. As you can see, they can still jump. They're still moving. But, you know, things happen. But I'd much rather... Yeah. Here's this injury. People would say, you know, we had, what, like 800 frogs there today and only three injuries is good, but in my book, zero injuries is good. So, we always change, always gonna make improvements, not gonna allow people who mistreat frogs to join the jump, but that's what you gotta do, you gotta educate people and improve. So, it's just something we'll have to do next year. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really love the Valley City Frog Jump and I love improving it each year. And if you're in the area, please come to the Valley City Frog Jump. We'd love to see you there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a happy day and goodbye.